How's everybody doing? After the video that I made talking all about guitar picks, I decided it would be probably interesting to do a series of pick review videos. I'll be choosing specific picks, starting off with some pretty common ones that people might want to know about, some of the characteristics and distinguishing factors as to why you might want to choose one pick over another. The first pick that I'm going to be reviewing is one that I chose because I've spent years playing it myself. It is the Dunlop Tortex 0.73 millimeter standard shape. As far as the material goes, for any of the Tortex picks, it's kind of a rubberier feeling plastic. It, it has kind of a natural grip to it without being filed or anything. I found that if you're sweating a lot when you're playing, it is not prone to sliding out of your fingers. So you can keep a pretty light grip on it, even if you're sweating a lot, if you're playing pretty hard, it's just not going to want to slip out of your fingers very easily. That's one of the things that I liked about it. As far as the shape goes, like I said, it's just a standard shape, just regular standard pick shape, standard size. The edge of it is there's nothing special about the edge of the pick. Um, the, with this being the .73 millimeter model, it feels almost like papery when you go to strum it. It has still kind of, it's not not really light, but more of a medium type of thwackiness. It has kind of a smack to it on the strings just because of how thin it is. I personally have used this pick for all of my playing when I was kind of having to put in the hours and hours and hours of practice to get patterns and techniques down that I wanted to learn early on and I loved it. I stood by it. I bought tons of them all the time. I had them always around. The only problem with them for me, this specific one, is that the thickness of it became a little bit insufficient as my playing style moved forward. So the pick would be, it would have much too much flex to it. Um, if you're doing some real heavy chugging or fast strumming, it's really not going to hold up super well. As I'm doing that quick kind of strumming, the pick is, is giving a lot and it really is brushing almost the, my first fingertip on the strings, which you don't necessarily want to have, which you don't necessarily want to have if you're going to be playing aggressively for any section of any song that you're playing. So anyway, I like this pick if the demands of your playing are you're going to be playing a lot in standard tuning, you're not going to be dealing with super heavy gauge strings, and you're not going to be beating the hell out of it when you're playing. If like I've developed a lot of my faster techniques using this pick just because it is a really nimble feeling pick. The feel of the material I really like. It, you never feel like you're gonna lose it. It pretty much stays put the entire time. You don't have to grip the hell out of it unless you're playing real hard. It doesn't have the most aggressive bite. It doesn't have the, the a very sharp attack at all really when it hits the string as far as the sound goes. But it's not the dullest, it's just kind of almost like a click, like it, sometimes it's like it's not even there. You're not going to get really a lot of squelching, squealing sounds out of this shape and material. I'm going to be trying to keep the length of these pick review videos pretty short and to the point, so if you have any questions, if I wasn't clear on anything, feel free to ask in the comment section and I'll definitely get back to you. Keep an eye out for more pick reviews and more content in general on my channel, and thank you for watching.